Hey kids, today we're going to talk about being bold. Do you know what it means to be bold? Being bold is a lot like being brave. And the type of bold that we're going to talk about today is being brave because we trust in God. I can be bold to speak because I trust that God is with me and helps me. I can be bold to pray because I trust that God hears me and answers me. I can be bold to stand up for what is right because I trust that God loves me, no matter what anybody else thinks. In our Bible story today, we are going to hear about a time that Peter and John were bold. Peter and John were two of Jesus' disciples. At this point in the Bible, Jesus had already died on the cross, come back to life, and then gone back up to heaven. Then God sent the Holy Spirit, who fills everyone who follows Jesus and gives them power to do the things that God has asked them to do. In our Bible story, there was also a man who couldn't walk. He had been unable to walk since he was born. Every day, someone would carry this man to sit by the temple gate where he would ask people for money. Sure is a beautiful gate. Excuse me, sir, can you spare some change? One day, the man saw Peter and John about to enter through the temple gate, and he asked them for money. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold, but I'll give you what I do have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Then Peter took his hand and helped him up. Immediately, the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. He went with Peter and John into the temple courtyards. He walked and jumped and praised God. Yeah! Praise God! Whoa, this sounds like the type of thing that Jesus did. He spoke to a man who hadn't been able to walk his entire life. He told him to get up, and the man did, and he was healed. This is exactly the type of thing that Jesus did. But Jesus had gone back up to heaven. This was Peter. But remember, Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, who gave him power to do the things God asked him to do, just like we are. If we are followers of Jesus, we are filled with the Holy Spirit, too. And he gives us power to do the things God asks us to do. Peter was bold. He trusted God. He trusted that God was able to heal that man. He trusted that the Holy Spirit was directing him to tell the man to get up. God helped Peter to be bold, and then God did something amazing through Peter. All the other people in the temple courtyard saw the man, and they recognized him as the man who couldn't walk and would always sit by the gate. This is awesome! Whoa! Isn't that... It is! Yahoo! The people were all gathering around. They were amazed. So Peter spoke to the people. Why does this surprise you? It's not as if we made this man walk by our own power. God has done this. This man was healed because of faith in Jesus. Peter made sure the people knew that this wasn't something that he or John had done. God had healed the man. Peter was being bold again. Something amazing had just happened, and he boldly spoke to a crowd of people to make sure they knew that this amazing thing had happened because of Jesus. Has anything good ever happened to you, and then you made sure that people knew it was because of Jesus? Giving Jesus the credit for the good things that happen in our lives is one way that we can be bold, too. God helps us to be bold. Peter and John were both boldly speaking to the people about Jesus, but not everyone was happy about what they were saying. The Jewish priests and the people who taught the Jewish law did not like what Peter and John were saying about Jesus. They had Peter and John arrested and put in prison overnight. The next day, they questioned Peter and John about the man who had been healed. How was he healed, they wanted to know. It was because because of Jesus. The priests and teachers were upset. Too many people had seen that the man was healed. They couldn't just say it didn't happen. 
Instead, they commanded Peter and John not to speak about Jesus or teach about Jesus at all. But Peter and John replied, which is right from God's point of view? Should we listen to you or should we listen to God? We have to speak about the things we've seen and heard. Peter and John were being bold again. They knew that they could get in big trouble for continuing to tell people about Jesus. They could be hated, arrested, or worse. But they were bold and continued to speak about Jesus. They trusted that doing what God wanted them to do was always the best choice, no matter what happened. Eventually, the priests and teachers let Peter and John go. Many people praised God because of the miracle they had seen, and many people started believing in Jesus. God helped Peter and John to be bold. He directed them, helped them to speak, and gave them power to do the amazing things he was asking them to do. They could be bold because they trusted that God was with them and helping them. Peter knew he couldn't heal that man and make him walk in his own power. That would be impossible. But he trusted that God could, and he listened to how the Holy Spirit was directing him. He was bold. God helps us to be bold, too. We can trust that God will help us do the things he is asking us to do. God might be asking you to pray for someone who is sick or hurt. He might be asking you to stand up for what is right. He might be asking you to show love and kindness to someone who is lonely. One of the first steps is to listen to what God is asking. We need to read our Bibles and learn how God wants us to act and how he wants us to treat others. It also means making time to get quiet and pay attention to God. Maybe you'll hear him with your ears, but often God will direct us by helping us to notice and care. God will help you to be bold. You don't have to figure that part out on your own. Ask him to help you, but you do need to be willing. God won't force you to do the things he's asking you to do. But if you are willing, you can trust that he will be with you and help you. God helps us to be bold. Yay!